Once upon a time, there was a girl called Arabella, who could not use a spinning wheel. Every time she tried, her thread would break, or become knotted and tangled. This made her mother very angry. You are such a useless girl. She would shout at her. Why can't you spin beautiful flax and thread like your cousins? You see, her mother was ashamed of her because in those days. All girls knew how to spin. Arabella would reply, "I hate spinning, Mother. My fingers are too small, and spinning hurts them so much. I cannot do it." <laughs> Then she would throw herself down, sobbing and crying pitifully. One day, the Queen was passing by in her carriage, and she heard Arabella crying. She was so alarmed by the sobbing that she stopped the carriage, came into the house, and asked the mother why her daughter was in such distress. Too ashamed to say that her daughter was unable to spin, she answered, "Oh, your Majesty, my daughter loves to spin. She is only happy when she is spinning. But sadly, there is no more flax to spin, and I cannot afford to buy any." There is nothing I like better than to hear the humming of a spinning wheel. Let me take your daughter with me to the palace. I have plenty of flax, and she can spin to her heart's delight. The mother had no choice but to let her daughter go. When they arrived at the castle. Arabella was shown three rooms piled from top to bottom with the finest flax. Now spin me this flax," ordered the queen. "When you have spun it beautifully into thread, you shall marry the prince, my eldest son." Arabella had charmed the queen with her gentle ways and delicate appearance. The queen believed she would make a wonderful bride for Prince Leon. Poor Arabella was terrified. She could not have spun the flax had she sat there day and night for a hundred years. When she was left alone, she wept and did nothing. Good heavens! How will I ever spin all this flax? People have known about flax since the olden days. They say if the yarn is left in damp air for a long time, it goes off. I couldn't spin it all, even if the queen gave me a year. I haven't even started yet. On the third day, the queen came, and when she saw that no flax had been spun, she was surprised. Arabella explained that she was so sad at having left her home that she had not been able to begin. This satisfied the queen, but as she left, she said, "No, you must start spinning for me tomorrow." Arabella was left alone and did not know what to do or where to turn for help. She began to cry. How could she escape this impossible task? She looked out of the window. And there, she saw three strange women coming towards her. The first one had a big, broad, flat foot. The second one had a large lower lip that hung down to her chin. The third one had a flat, fat thumb. The three women looked up at the frightened and tearful Arabella, and asked her what was the matter. Arabella told them what had happened. They offered to help her. If you will call us your cousins, they said, we will spin all the flax for you. But you must promise to call us your cousins, not be ashamed of us, and invite us to sit at your wedding table. With all my heart," she answered. "Please come in and start right away."
Arabella led them to the first room filled with flax. The three women sat down at the spinning wheel and set about their spinning. Arabella was amazed at how fast they worked. The first one pulled the thread and pedalled the wheel with her big, broad, flat foot. The second one licked the thread with her large lower lip, and the third twisted and pressed it with her flat, fat thumb. Soon they had spun all the flax into beautiful, fine flaxen thread. Then they began work on the second room, which was very soon empty. And finally, so was the third. When the job was done, the three strange women said goodbye. Now, Arabella, they said, remember what you have promised us, and it will bring you good luck. Arabella thanked them from the bottom of her heart and said that she would never forget their kindness. I use the treadle night and day to spin the flax. It's the only way. My lip is thick. That's very true. It's because I spin. It's what I do. I twist the thread around my thumb. To spin all day is such great fun. Please, ladies, keep working. There's not much time. I hope you won't forget to invite us to your wedding, my dear. Don't worry, my beauty. We'll get the job done in time. Don't worry, young lady. Spinning is no trouble at all for us. Don't worry, my... I hope you won't forget to invite us to your wedding, my dear. When the Queen arrived, Arabella showed her the beautifully spun flaxen thread. The Queen was overjoyed and praised her for her fine work. Arabella was then introduced to Prince Leon, and they immediately fell in love. So, the royal wedding was announced. Did Arabella forget her promise? No, she did not. She asked if her three dear cousins could be invited to the wedding. Certainly, replied the Queen. Why ever would I say no? Arabella thanked her and sent out the invitations. On the day of the royal wedding, there was great excitement. The feast at the palace began, and when the three strange women entered, Arabella greeted them, saying... Welcome, dearest cousins. Please come and sit beside us at our table. The cousins joined the wedding party, but Prince Leon was shocked by their appearance and asked the first, Why have you such a big, broad, flat foot? From peddling a spinning wheel, she replied. Then he asked the second, Why have you such a large lower lip? From licking the thread, she answered. To the third, he asked, Why have you such a flat, fat thumb? The third put her thumb in the air and exclaimed, From twisting and pressing the thread. Good heavens! thought the prince. He then took hold of his bride's delicate hands and looking into her sweet, gentle face, said, My lovely bride must never, ever again use a spinning wheel as long as she lives. Arabella glanced at her cousins and, realising her good fortune, smiled to herself. I think her mother would have been proud of her, don't you? After all, spinning is not for everyone. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful kingdom, dear prince. What a lucky cousin we have. What a smart and handsome fiancé she has. I'm one of Arabella's cousins. What an honour to meet you. Goodness, look at the size of them. I know my foot has spread and become swollen. 
It's because of years of work on the spinning wheel. You must keep your fiancé away from the spinning wheel. I see you're amazed by the sight of us. I've never seen anyone like them before. This is what working on a spinning wheel does to you. <laughs>